Whenever I go camping, even if it is just for one night, I somehow always end up carrying a large backpack, at least 75 liters. It must be possible to slim that down. I will show you how I lowered my base weight and slimmed down my backpack for a summer overnight. The idea was pretty simple. I wanted to, first of all, bring less and second of all, use my existing gear. I didn't want to buy any new ultralight gear. Otherwise, it's of course very easy if you go for a DCF tent and something like a Neo Air Uberlight. Currently, I also only own Hilleberg tents and Hilleberg isn't very focused on small pack size. Let me show you all the gear that I have with me. So let's start with the backpack. This is an Osprey Talon 22. It's 22 liters. I use it as a day pack. I bought it because I found it super comfortable and these stretchy pockets are great as well. And as you can see, I was able to cheat a bit because I used the dry bag and I used this pocket where I stashed the tent. Here I have the tent. This is the Hilleberg Acto. I was able to fold it neatly and put it inside of this dry bag. If you squeeze the air out of it, it becomes quite a flat package. And because of that, I was able to stuff it in here. I secured it at the top of the backpack so I wouldn't lose it, but it stays in here quite nicely. On this side, I have the pole for the Hilleberg Acto. It's just one pole. I have the pegs with me as well. And I also have the spare section. Let's take it this out on the other side I have just a I believe this is one liter uh, looking at the pockets I have my airpods I have a small Swiss knife and I have a head torch in the other pocket I have some snacks so now let's look inside of the backpack this is my water filter in here I stored the jet boil in the jet boil i have my gas canister there's some coffee in here and a foldable cup this is my sleeping pad it fits perfectly within the backpack it's just as wide um, so this is great no need to buy any special ultralight sleeping pad food in this inside pocket, I have some toiletries. And last but not least is the sleeping bag. This is a Rab Ascent 500XL sleeping bag. As you see, it's definitely not the smallest sleeping bag. I tried some different options with packing and I was able to squeeze it into an even smaller dry bag, but I didn't want to do that for now as I don't want to compress it down too much unnecessarily. So what else is in here? I also have a spoon and I have some stuff for bug bites. So let me quickly show you how I pack all of this. So this dry bag isn't completely sealing off the air. So what I would do right now is just compress it just a little bit more. Squeeze the air out. And with that, I will be able to get it into the backpack more easily. Just mold it a bit. Now quickly the sleeping pad, zip it up just a little bit. And now with the sleeping bag still compressed, I'll put in the tent and now I can add the rest of the kit. So all of this is around six kilograms. It is slightly more than 22 liters, of course, because we're utilizing this. We're cheating a bit, but that's okay, I think. It still fits in this backpack. And for me, this was a great exercise to see that I can carry everything that I need in a small backpack. And actually, I don't need to bring that much for just an overnight. In an upcoming video, I'll be sharing everything that I'm bringing to Sweden on my trip to hike the Kungslede. If you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.